What is going on, you guys? It is time for a, what is this, 40-card PSA DNA um, autograph reveal. Majority of this is um, vintage NFL Hall of Famers. And then I should have another 40-card um, submission coming in, personal submission coming in sometime next week, I believe. Um, so it's always nice to be able to show off some of these. And we will just kind of mow on through these things. 1962 Fleer Don Maynard. Um, and I've always liked this card. Just very simple. I like the stadium in the background. New York Titans down at the bottom. Just screams vintage football to me. And just like most of my... Um, PSA DNA videos in the past majority of these uh, were done TTM through the years um, I think Mr. Maynard passed away I don't know, two or three years ago by now uh, but he was a really really good signer I think he lived in New Mexico at the time OJ Simpson the Hall of Fame inscription 1974. The card looks stunning. Looks stunning. And now we are about to go on one heck of a Fran Tarkenton run. So I think this is everything with the exception of his rookie um, that I submitted and I already have that. I think it's it's either in my eBay store or it just sold last week. Things have really been moving um, in and out of my store quite a bit here lately. Um, so, and all, and all of this stuff will be there here before too long. So let's get to it. 1963 tops. And all of these were done TTM. He does require a pretty healthy donation. Um, 50 bucks. But, I will say, good luck getting him even to appear at a show, for one. But if he were to appear at a show, to get $50 to get him to sign a card and a possible Hall of Fame inscription, yeah, that's not going to happen for 50 bucks. So, when I put that into perspective, I'm kind of like, yeah, it's kind of, a, kind of a good deal. If you want Mr. Fran Tarkenton. And the last one, which is a Butte 1978 Tops. It's a nice card. We are halfway through. We're just mowing on through here. Halfway through, three minutes in. Okay. Mick Tingleoff. That one, that one's a cool one with multiple inscriptions. He ended up getting into the Hall of Fame via the senior committee, I believe. It was decades after he quit playing. Hugh Michelini, part of the million dollar backfield of the 49ers. Some Sonny Jurgensen. Oh, come on. Don't lose focus now. Sonny Jurgensen still signs TTM. Um, I haven't seen a lot of people get him. I think because he's signed so well for so long. I think a lot of people have kind of moved on from getting his signature um, via through the mail. And here is... The last stack. Now you can tell this was TTM. You see the... There you go. How the Sharpie is kind of scuffed. That's from signing it and putting it right in a, a card saver one. But Jim Johnson. A couple of him. Bob Lilly with three inscriptions. And look at that. 
gorgeous. Love that jersey too back in the day. <laughs> Super cool jersey. How about that? 1974 Nabisco Sugar Daddy. Look at that little fella. Would you just look at that? Just look at it. John Mackey. I think I've picked these up through the years. Um, at either online or at card shows. I picked a couple up at this year's national. This past year's national. Um, and his autograph is super cheap. Um, but Because he signed everything within arm's reach of him for a long time. So his signature is really, really cheap on items, but nonetheless, super cool. And a lot of times he signs his items just very, very different. I don't know if I have one in this pile, but sometimes he'll even sign it like starting here and like wrap his signature around here. And then like Hall of Fame will be like right here. Um, <laughs> kind of would like to know what was in his head when he was signing items. Because he had seemed like he had no cares in the world. Oh, here. <laughs> I had no idea this was there. Um, there you go. Just like that. <laughs> you see? Just so different, man. Gino Marchetti. And that is that. So, that was pretty short and sweet. That was a... 40, 40 piece um, PSA DNA return. Um, we just, for Slab City, the Facebook group, um, group authentications, we just sent off the, what was that? March basic submission where it says trading card at the top. Now that we're in April, we're doing a um, full service or dual service submission where basically your item would come back looking like this. And I think the submission deadline for that's at the end of at the end of this month, and then for the rest of this year, um, I'm kind of playing with alternating. Um, so right now in in April we're doing a full service submission, which means May we're going to do a basic, and then just kind of flop back and forth until I kind of see what the group what the group really wants. So till next time, adios, be safe, bye bye, doodles.